Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for a mid-August 2022. Um, Seven of Cups keeps wanting to pop out there. I was wondering <laughs> if, uh, you know, I, I always shuffle for a few minutes before I get started, and um, that Seven of Cups kept wanting to pop out, and there it was at the bottom of the deck. So uh, interesting. We'll keep that in mind for sure. But let's see what is going on for uh, you here. Aquarius at this time and yeah so you're definitely making a change which I feel like is always coming up for you um hopefully a change for the better this deck is all messed up by the way as usual I, I'm just over fixing them but it is what it is so uh let's see here um you have this time to go card with this bear card at the end like I've, it's kind of interesting that bear card can of course represent kind of like gathering your resources um in the sense of like bears hibernate so they eat a bunch of food to fatten up before they hibernate that's not really what i'm getting here i feel like you're kind of um something like slowed down and i feel like that's what you're leaving <laughs> it's almost like there's been a chunk of your life that was slow right and I feel like you're leaving that chunk of your life, if that makes sense. Things are speeding up very quickly here. I feel like things could move a lot faster uh, here as well. And before I forget, I'm just going to tell you not to skip too far ahead. But I feel like too much in the imagination. We have the Seven of Cups popping out in the beginning. Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups. It's like, you know, we can live in our imagination all day long. Trust me, I'm a Pisces with an Aquarius rising. I live in my imagination all day long. But we have to take these things that we imagine and we have to at least try them or bring them down to earth and I feel like this reading is encouraging you to do that here you go this first card you have this pegasus card and it says transcending on it it's like you are I feel like you are transcending illusion you know and I don't think illusions are necessarily a bad thing right I feel like we can with the seven of cups we can imagine things as we want them to be in our life which I'm a big fan of doing but at a certain point we have to bring those things down to earth and we have to actually see how they're going to turn out what they're going to be it's like you know or if they can be something in the first place I wouldn't say you've wasted your time or anything like that here Aquarius but what I would say is I feel like you're going to have much better experiences by actually experiencing things <laughs> and uh, that's kind of like the energy that I get you have the eight of wands the ten of pentacles and the page of wands here the eight of wands how crazy is this I didn't even realize this um, here clearly something happened with this deck um, you know and again honestly uh, Aquarius, when I just moved, I had a bunch of cards and a bunch of um, decks in one box, and a bunch of them kind of like all fell out, got mixed up. So that's probably what happened here. But it's pretty interesting that you have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, I'm going to leave it. I feel like that was probably meant to happen. But, uh, you know, things moving forward very, very quickly. It's also interesting to me that you're, you know, you have the slowdown. It's almost like this is your past position. You have these visions of the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is everything you want in your life. And things were moving very quickly. Something happened in the middle here that became a burden. So if this is in love, for example, it's like maybe you uh, wanted to be with a person, but there was distance. It's like the burden. You know what I mean? That's kind of how I'm seeing this reading. If this was something in business, I feel like you had the imagination, right? You had the ideas to create something amazing in business or career. Um, Ten of Wands and Seven of Pentacles could be multiple things. Could be like the amount of work that need to be done for you to build your dream, which is kind of like how I see the middle here. Uh, for others, that Seven of Pentacles in the Ten of Wands could say you had other responsibilities that maybe you felt like were preventing you from moving towards your dream. Very interesting reading. Pretty straightforward if you ask me. And I feel like it's very simple. I feel like it's, it's like beginning, middle, and end, but it's really more like Again, you leaving the slow chunk, dead center, and things speeding up in the near future. Uh, so I don't know. I like where this is going. I hope it makes sense. Ten of Pentacles. Again, I feel like you felt like you had the Ten of Pentacles or were very close to achieving the Ten of Pentacles. I like to remind people that do we ever truly get the Ten of Pentacles? Well, in, in a certain way, yes. You know, Ten of Pentacles is simply building and leaving a legacy. So, you know, that's not necessarily difficult to do. Well, many people do it, but really, Ten of Pentacles is like everything you want in your life, so in that way, I would say we don't ever truly, truly get the Ten of Pentacles, but, you know, we can get pretty damn close, and again, I would never want, you know, personally, I would never want to have the Ten of Pentacles right away, you know what I mean, without having to earn it. It's like, as trust me, as someone who has, like, 
you know, earned things and like lost things and kind of rushed past things. There's so many things I like wanted in my life that, you know, not necessarily anything special, <laughs> but just certain things. And then, you know, I reach a goal and rush right past it. It's like when you have something that you really work towards and you rush past it, it kind of loses its, um, you know, it's just no longer special, right? It's like, how, how many times you've heard stories from people? It's like, I've heard many stories where people make like a bunch of money and then what do they want to do? They want to make more <laughs> because, it's like, you know, they realize they get there and they don't feel any different. It didn't do anything different for them, right? And kind of like what I feel here is that maybe this is something you're working towards, but I feel like you had something that you thought was going to be the Ten of Pentacles. Could have been a relationship for some of you. You have the Page of Wands here. Page of Wands, like willing to go on the adventure is the way that I look at him. He's very enthusiastic and very excited. I still feel like you're very excited about something you know, something that you see as your Ten of Pentacles, whatever it is, you know, it could be like your ultimate goal, wish, or dream. It could be, you know, pretty much anything, but I feel like you're still very excited about it, whatever it is. Uh, next, you have this, a personal issue reaches resolution with a full moon in Cancer. So I do feel like you could be overcoming some things that have been holding you back uh, during this chunk of time, like we talked about in the beginning of the reading. You have the Page of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and that Seven of Pentacles. The Page of Cups is kind of like a card of uh, imagination as well. You can see that he has that fish in that cup. The fish in the cup might be something that isn't real. He could be just imagining that fish in that cup. And as I always say with the Page of Cups, to me, the Page of Cups, he needs to grab onto that fish. He needs to make that fish happen, whatever it is. It's probably like a goal, wish, or dream or something that he's hoping that he can accomplish or create in his life. And that's kind of like what I feel like you need to do here with this Page of Cups energy. Uh, again, we already kind of went over this, but the Ten of Wands, I feel like, could be responsibilities or certain things that you feel have slowed your life down over the past however long. I feel like the time frame is different for all of you, but I feel like this is the chunk of time that you're leaving, like I said. Uh, so I feel like you're leaving this chunk of time that you feel like has been holding you back for a very long time with the Ten of Wands. And I feel like you just feel like you're you know, kind of like moving away from it. With the Seven of Pentacles, again, change in direction. Seven of Pentacles is is the juice worth the squeeze, as I always say. He's looking at these pentacles. He's like saying, is it worth it for me to stay here? Or is there work that I could do somewhere else? Is there something I could do somewhere else that would be much better for me? And that's what I feel like you're doing here is you're um, kind of making a change with this Seven of Pentacles and doing something different. Uh, at the end here, you have this Time to Go card and this Bear card. It's kind of like you fattened up. I'm not calling you fat here, Aquarius, but what I am saying is I feel like you've gotten, you know, you've eaten all your berries. You've eaten all the whatever bears eat. I don't know, twigs and berries or something like that, grass. Who cares, right? But what I would say is I feel like you've kind of marshmallows, stuff like that. That's what I imagine, bears eating mar marshmallows and stuff in the woods. But what I would say here is I feel like you've kind of gathered all the energy. And now it's time for you to leave this period of time behind. And it's time for you to move on. To, to this right here, uh, Eight of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. So again, Eight of Wands, quick conclusion, quick success, good things, things that you've been imagining. And the reason the Eight of Wands can represent kind of like your imagination is traditionally, the Eight of Wands was your arrows of love. It was like you tell the universe what you want in love, the universe res responds. And traditionally, that's what the Eight of Wands kind of represented, was telling the universe you want something in love, and then this is kind of like the response, right? Uh, it reminds me of Esther Hicks. Uh, she talks about your rockets of desire. So we are constantly telling the universe what we want. The universe is always responding, but we kind of we respond with our emotions and our thoughts, right? And so I would, number one, make sure you're focusing on exactly what you want, not what you don't want. But number two, I feel you're kind of like still, you're thinking again. I don't really think it was a mistake that the Eight of Wands came up twice here like this. Um, you know, I think you're constantly, you're still thinking about those things. You're still like daydreaming with both of these cards here. Both cards to me kind of represent imagining. Nine of Cups is my card of imagination. Normally he's looking into that cup and he is dreaming of like his perfect life, his Ten of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups is your emotions overflowing. So I feel like there are things that could make your life not, I wouldn't say easier. Uh, I don't think life is necessarily meant to be easy, but I feel like there's a certain flow to your life if you kind of move towards your dream life, whatever it is for you. I, you know, this could be love. You know, again, there's love here. It could be a water sign or a fire sign or a mixture of both, but I really don't see this as a love reading. I see this more as a big picture reading. I feel like it's talking about your Ten of Pentacles. Again, Ten of Pentacles is everything you want in your life. I'm out of breath in this reading. It's, uh, I definitely feel like things are, you know, kind of 
per moving forward here very quickly, which is good. Uh, with the Eight of Wands, you have the Temperance card. Again, this Eight of Wands probably had to go through a process. Eight of Wands, I mean, sorry, the Temperance card is about turning like a negative into a positive or a positive into a negative. You can go both ways with the Temperance card, but it is a card of transformation. So I feel like something had to undergo a transformation. You know, for example, if this is a relationship, maybe both people had to change before this could um, be what it's truly supposed to be, right? Uh, same thing with your Ten of Pentacles, whatever that big goal, wish, or dream is. It's like maybe you had to change. I, like, I don't think it's just you that had to go through a transformation. I think other things in your life also had to go through a transformation before you could accomplish your goal, you know? With that, you have that bear spirit. Like I said, when the when the bears are in the woods eating their marshmallows, whatever else they eat, it's like they go through a transformation. They put on a bunch of weight so they can hibernate. And again, the interesting thing is I don't really feel like you're hibernating either. I don't think you're going off to do nothing. I actually feel like you're going off to live your life, which is probably much better. With the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Five of Wands. Yeah, there was some sort of conflict uh, to getting your Ten of Pentacles. We already talked about this, basically. Something got in the way. Uh, with the Page of Wands, you have the Moon card here. The Moon card is like fears to go on the journey. So again, maybe some fears got in the way of you accomplishing the Ten of Pentacles the first time. You know, the Moon to me does not say stop. The Moon says go down this path, hit these mountains because mount mountains in the tarot represent an accomplishment. They represent accomplishing something or you know getting something you want. Again, I'm moving quickly here, but very simple reading, Aquarius. With the Page of Cups, you have the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is like the wounded warrior. Nine of Wands does kind of say try again. It is a card of perseverance. So like I said, I feel like this reading is very simple. I feel like you're just trying to accomplish your Ten of Pentacles again, whatever that your Ten of Pentacles is. Again, it's different for everyone. But the Nine of Wands is also a card of throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. So I would definitely be open to experimentation at this time. And also with the astrology that we have, I would definitely be open to experimentation at this time. With the Ten of Wands, you have the Seven of Swords. For some reason, I thought you had the Seven of Swords twice as well, but I guess not. Seven of Swords also says, be open to doing things in a different way. He's stealing these swords from an army that's in the background here. And so he's not going to war with the army. He's stealing the swords so that they can't be used against him in battle. So it's kind of like going to war, but just in a different way. And that's exactly what I'd be looking at doing uh, with that Seven of Swords energy. Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Emperor here. The Emperor, I feel like, is talking about following a plan. I also feel like it's saying go for it. I get more of kind of like a go for it energy, not really what the Emperor represents. But the Seven of Pentacles, it's like you're looking at what you have accomplished so far. and Maybe you're saying, like, is it worth it? I, I know I want to make a change. I kind of feel this is almost more confidence and encouragement. I feel like the universe is, I really don't feel anything about this other than kind of like more of a bold, confident energy where the universe is saying, hey, make the change or boldly move towards your Ten of Pentacles because now you are ready to have it, right? With the Eight of Wands, you have the King of Cups. Uh, so again, I feel, like watch your emotions. Everybody's been getting the King or Queen of Cups recently. And the King of Cups is about, you know, having very stable emotions. It doesn't matter what's going on around him. He is very stable. So you can see there are choppy waters around him, and it kind of says it doesn't really re matter what is going on in the world, what's going on around him. He is going to maintain his emotional state. So like I said, I would make sure that you're staying positive, that you're focusing on exactly what you do want, not on what you don't want. Uh, could also be a water sign coming in for some of you, like I said. Uh, let's see here. Uh, with the Ace of Cups, you have the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is like holding on too tightly to something from the past. Again, I feel like that's kind of like what maybe prevented you from moving towards your Ten of Pentacles was comfort zone type energy, which that makes sense to me. And so I feel like you're just really kind of like, let, I feel like it's time to, like that time to go card is saying you're just releasing a comfort zone. You're leaving your comfort zone. And with the uh, Knight of Cups, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Again, a lot of repeating cards. Doesn't surprise me because I feel like you're just making a change. The Knight of Cups with that Seven of Pentacles just says to me that you're, the change you're making is you're moving towards your Ten of Pentacles. And, uh, you know, that just putting all the pieces of the puzzle together here. Uh, so I feel like you will be making a move in the future. Maybe not literally, 
like moving, but I feel like you're you are making moves, like taking action. I feel like this is incomplete, <laughs> having even though it's a very simple reading. So let's just I just want to get a couple more cards and see like what else is going on here. Ten of Wands again. I feel like there are still things. You know, it's like there are definitely some things that need to be wrapped up here with that Ten of Wands. The Seven of Swords says it's probably easier than you think because again, the Seven of Swords is clarifying the Ten of Wands right here. But I would also say that Seven of Swords kind of represents a few things. Number one. He has polka dots on his cloak. Polka dots represent taking things too seriously in the tarot, right? So it kind of represents needing to not take things so seriously. It also needs, it kind of represents needing to have fun. So you could need to have a little bit more fun in your life. But I would also say that, again, approaching a situation differently than you have been approaching it, like if you're, maybe you have a career and you want to start a business, but you're just like tired at the end of the day, so you can't put in the work to your business and you're like, what, what the hell do I do? It's like, you know, it's like, well, what can you do? What What is the smallest amount of work that you can do on your business to get it going? Or, you know, it's like, could you take some vacation time just to get it going, just to see how things go? I don't know. You're Like I said, you're gonna have to think about it, obviously. Uh, I don't know every single one of your situations here, but I would think about it. Uh, same thing in love. It's like, um, you know, maybe you're trying to be with a person who's like super busy, or maybe you're super busy. It's like, what can you do uh, to make it happen? And Seven of Swords kind of says there, there kind of, there is a way that you just have to discover it. Uh, next, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, card of success and independence. Uh, love it. To me, she's a card of gratitude and luxury. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of stuff coming in for you that, uh, you know, stuff to be very grateful for. And finally, you have the Ace of Wands. Very passionate new beginning. Ace of Wands is out with the old, in with the new. You can see there's a castle here crumbling. So I feel like there's definitely a very passionate new beginning coming in for you. But um, pretty simple reading. I feel like you're about you're moving again towards your ten of pentacles pretty simple so uh thank you for being here aquarius really appreciate it make sure to watch your sun moon and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time but thank you and definitely enjoy your week